hello everyone today i'm going to show you how you can actually enable mail profile for sql server initially it was working like uh, if you just turn on your uh, gmail less secure app then you can actually add a gmail account as a your mail profile like uh, smtp server but the problem is google actually discontinued that feature less secured app now we have to do different way i'm going to show you how you can do that at first i will try to create a new gmail account for this testing purpose create a new account let me name it dba report and username will be dba report let me put just 001 yes db report 001 now i'll i will provide a password i have to provide my phone number since it will require two step verification yes skip now agree all right we have our new gmail account right now just we have to change some settings from google accounts here and click manage your google account go security now you have to at first you have to enable two step verification by default it's off but you have to turn it on so let me just get started this is my phone number i will use as uh, two step verification go next i supposed to receive another code here all right go next turn on now now this is turn on go back now you can check twist verification below the twist verification you can now you can check here there is a option app password so you can use this app password just uh, click here you have to use this app password now select app you can choose anything i will choose other and just write down sql and let's generate a this is my password let me just quickly copy this password and let me go back my sql let me paste it here this is my password app password and just click done now it's enabled this app password we can use from sql server let's go back your sql server now expand management at first you have to enable some feature uh, let me show you so this is your sp configuration change at first you have to change uh, the xp mail profile yet yeah, by default it should be zero but you have to make it one just copy both the script execute this one done okay so this is my password again this is my password for sql server my the newly created gmail account so newly gmail account name is uh, dba let me just quickly copy from there uh, so this is my newly created gmail account and we will use this password for configuring our uh, mail profile okay let's go back your database mail configure database mail go next set up database mail by performing following tasks 
go next name it anything let's say dva and you can you have to add a smtp account add account name anything you can you can give it dba now you have to provide the email address email address is this one copy display name anything dba reply email you can leave it uh, blank or you can just paste a like same email address here now you have to provide the server name server name is smtp server gmail smtp server if you google it you will find out like this is the gmail smtp server address you can just paste it here now you have to provide the port number port number is 587 587 go back here again 587 now you have to turn it on the server required a secret connection make sure you turn it on now you have to choose basic authentication you have to provide the gmail account what we just created copy paste password password will be this one copy paste here paste here next public dba yes default profile yes go next next finish done so now you have successfully configured your mail profile now you can quickly check send a test email you have to provide the I am putting same email address here where send okay now go back your browser and check as you can see this is already we have received this email so this is how you can actually successfully configured your uh, mail profile I can show you another thing so we have another script here let me just quickly copy the script from our main server we have a one store procedure here this is the store procedure let me just quickly copy this one copy and paste it our new server like this is the server let me just quickly so it will create a store procedure uh, on database maintenance so instead of database maintenance you can use master master now just quickly execute this script and we have a job let me just copy the job from there mm, here copy and close it new query so this job will be created and we have to just change the email address where we want to receive this report so we will we just created our newly created gmail account we can use this email uh, what was the dba report dba report 001 this is our gmail address dba report 001 at the rate of uh, at the rate of gmail.com oops yeah dba reports at the rate of gmail.com 
just I will execute this one now if I quickly run this job let me refresh it SQL health check let me just check the properties step so it will run under the database maintenance so we don't want to use database we don't have this database we created the store procedure on master database so we can use this here uh, master that's it our email address is here done okay now quickly just run this job success now go back your server uh, gmail you should receive a email database server health check now you can able to check all the reports here all the server details here server name server the database uh, version any error is there any how many disk space available over there temdb uses information cpu uses currently memory uses then you have check you can check job report any failed job failed you can also check over there so this is how we actually configured mail profile and you can just add your notification on your any job whatever you want thank you